Another problem online. Websites are racing to fix a major security flaw known as the Heartbleed bug. The online bug could exploit your personal information. Crown Force tech reporter Gabe Slate is in the studio now with details on what you need to do to keep your sensitive information safe from prying eyes. Gabe. Yeah, this is a massive online security hole. Two thirds of the websites out there are believed to be vulnerable to this bug. And we're talking about major mainstream websites like Yahoo, Flickr, some other top websites sites including Facebook, Google, Wikipedia, Amazon, Twitter, Apple and Microsoft are not currently vulnerable, but they may have been in the past. This Heartbleed bug has been around for 2 years. So here's what it is and how to protect yourself. When you're on a website and you're giving sensitive personal information like your address or credit card number, that actual page where you input that information is typically a special encrypted page with beefed up security. In the URL box, you will see an S appear after the HTTP. In the URL box, you will see a S appear after the HTTP. That's how you know the page is encrypted and safe. That's where this Heartbleed bug exists, inside that encryption technology. The danger is only on those websites using the encryption system OpenSSL. But as I mentioned, a lot of the web uses it, leaving most internet users at risk. So what should you do now to protect yourself? Change all your passwords, every one of them, just to be safe. However, here's the hard part. It would be best to change passwords after a website has patched the Heartbleed security hole. Hopefully, companies will email users once they have done that. Oh man, I know this is so frustrating. It's like every other week, uh, all the news agencies are telling you, you gotta change your passwords. There's been another online breach of some sort. Um, at this point, you know, I'm starting to recommend to people, you might wanna just check into one of these identity insurance companies like LifeLock or True Credit. It's sad that it's come to that, but they average around $10, $15 a month. And if you do that, then worst case scenario, if your identity is taken or someone gets your financial information, you're protected against identity theft. So you might wanna look into that. Gabe Slate, Cron 4 News.